I don't think this is where I need to go though. Alright, so that's interesting. It's fine. I'm pretty sure on the demo we had to go to a, a different spot, so I, I'd rather go there first. There we go. That's much safer. So, I reckon it's this way, somewhere over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brum, brum. Is it that? Is it that? Well, I think it's it's more obvious the closer you get to it, so... Oh, what's that? A building? Hmm. Ah, uh, maybe, okay, maybe there's a entrance that's a bit more clearer, okay. Is there anything there? Nope. Right, so that's the village. Right here, here, here we go. Right now we're glad. There we go. Up we get, get the. F Come on, no, get up there. Please. Please get up it. All right, fine. Okay. Hmm. Open sesame. Okay. Wait, wait. This is where we came from, wasn't it? Is this the place? Mm-hmm. Oh, can I... Yeah, I can follow the quest. I can also follow... Ah, oh, you can only do one at a time. Alright. Okay, Whispering Stones. That's active. Alright. I guess we're in the wrong direction. Oh, come on. It's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is literally its max speed. I believe. Yeah, this is the max speed. there. Okay. Oh! Bird? Oh! Just like Skyrim. Sunshine Butterfly. Butterflies that hibernate during the cold desert nights by burrowing into the sands. During the day, they fly into the dunes, actively seeking sunlight to absorb into their wings in a process akin to photosynthesis. Hmm. My question is, can I eat them? Like in Skyrim. Alright. 
So I've got to keep a, a, an eye out for critters, huh? Interesting. Alright, let's get up there. Let's get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Please. There we go. Alright, this is the closest we're going to get. scared then. <laughs> I thought there was, there was like an animal trying to eat me. Okay. Can I... Can I take some herbs? Oh! What are you? Ah, oh, Chumig. Ooh, Chumig. Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. I have a Chumig. I win at video games. Chum egg. I don't believe that was in the demo. I could be wrong though. Oh, wait. What is this? We've got a crow. Let's see if we can harass the crow. something in the air. What the fuck? Hmm. Bye bye crow. Alright. Just taking it all in. Oh shit! Huh? That kind of hurt. Ah. Now there's no choice. I have to figure out my uh, my mission here. There's no escape. The classic video game railroad. You must do this to progress the plot. Can I get further up here? Now that I know that you can collect things, I'm like constantly trying to... Like, can I collect you? Can I collect you? And... There we go. Hmm, there might be something up here. the belly of the beast. Oh. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Maybe it feels right. Mm. I am ready for Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Rohana. Within my vibrate stone. Whoa. Whoa.
guilty. Pink rock. Show Hillel the activated gliding stone. It's pretty cool. Is there anything down here? Just checking for any hint. Press and hold A to glide in midair. Okay. So that's that's the legitness. Okay, yeah, okay. So there's nothing under there. I'm just checking game, I'm just checking. I can see. Let's go into this one here. Nice. And I'm assuming I can glide into walls and still climb them. I am assuming. Oh, okay. There's definitely something up there. Just gotta get there. Yeah. Cool. Chumig. Nah, it's not enough. Alright. Hmm, how to get close enough. Okay, yeah, 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 get on the, uh, the, the surrounding rock. Okay, okay, okay. Just checking to see if we haven't left any uh, collectibles. Now that we're back here, I'm just wondering how on earth I'm gonna get up there. Oh, is that even gonna be possible? Probably not. Let's try from the outside. Oh. I want that chum egg. I saw it. I saw a chum egg. Hmm. Am I missing something? It doesn't look like I can get it from the outside. Or can I? Oof. That's a bit sketch. Oh! No. <laughs> didn't like that. <laughs> she did not like that. Um, okay, so I can't literally scale rock face. No, no, I can. Alright. So, okay, I'd rather get up. Oh, we could, we could try giving that a, a go. It's got to be this rock, though. Yeah. Let's give it a go.
Dang it. Hmm. Alright, no, no. Let's backtrack. If it's just a case of like, oh, you know, you don't have the power-ups yet, then I can accept it, but... find some treasure. Yoink. See, this is what I'm talking about. Perseverance. Okay, so... Fuck. That's a big cliff face. Okay. I'm not gonna make that. Oh, I can. Okay. Okay. Could I make that? Give it a try. she runs out of, like I can't even like stay in the bubble and then like hope for the endurance to build back up and then get back on the uh, the wall oh. is this simply a place that I have to go back to later looks like it unless I'm missing an, a ladder on the other side Let's go back. Where did my, uh, my vehicle go? Ah, oh, it's down here. I think it's down here. Ah, uh, down, down, down. Oh, is it showing that it's, uh, 11 at night? Interesting. something that I can interact with. No. Bonk. That seemed like something. Oh, that wasn't good game. <laughs> Any goodies? Seem like it. Okay. 
Any more butterflies? Any butterflies? No? No? Okay. Just checking. Any Chum Lee eggs? Chum Lee. Trying to figure out which way is going to be best to uh, get inside. Alright, we'll, we'll go to uh, Driz. my village <laughs> through here probably through here nice dead end nice I'm lost what are you doing That it um you know the weather changes and stuff. That's uh that's solid. here um hello yep when I return to Hilal it's clear they know what I've just experienced they're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left isn't it incredible how it feels? How does it feel? Safe, like a warm hug. I tell Hilal that I almost that I feel almost embraced by the perpetual, warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Hilal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling just floating on the breeze but I suppose suppose it's best that it fades with age hmm or else I might never have come back from my gliding I'd just be out here heaving myself into chasms I wish we could all do it I tell Hilal I wish it was something we could keep perpetually so do I Sable so do I I know people manage to keep it up but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Hilal well, laughs, even if there is a bit of regret in it, in it here. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much. If it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but decide that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There is a lot to be said about right and independence and all of that out there, but... The world's an easier place if you put joy first. That's good advice for Twitch streaming. I thank Hilal for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance. All in one. 
I say goodbye to Hillel. Before I go, Hillel gestures towards the tower. It seems Sizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Hmm. Hillel clothes. <laughs> Allow quotes from a selection of obscure and lyrically mediocre Ibex Sea historical ballads whenever I pass by. There is a great verse that says much about our folk. Buried under sand. That was a great, great poem. I'll treasure it forever. You gotta go. You've got a story for me. Logging in. Oh, disable. No. No message for me. Jaddy greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. What was your gliding like? I asked Jaddy about her gliding. Tell you what, I'll tell you when you get back. Well, I, ha well, I, am, I am back. Whatever, Jaddy. Yeah, I think I think I'll just get off here. Climb the tower. Looks like that's what they're going to do. Alright. Oh, give me. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Sizo is an outclanner to the Avexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall, and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given to their post, and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But Scissor has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she's one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Ibexi versus outclanners suggests some, uh, suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Sizo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Better now that I'm getting a bike. Scissor has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. <laughs> She's quite a serious person most days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Jade told me how excited you were. <laughs> 